This is a pivotal year for us as the Royal British Columbia Museum celebrates a milestone. 130 years as collector, conservator and interpreter of our shared history. 130 years. That's nearly as old as British Columbia itself. For a moment, I want you to imagine that time, the British Columbia of the late 1800s, a region rich in trees, fish and coal, but scant in population. So remote was this region on the rugged Pacific coast that any male traveling from the rest of the Dominion of Canada first had to travel to San Francisco before eventually coming north. It's hard to fathom today in an age of text messages and instant communication. But that was the time when citizens of this new colony gathered together with a shared vision. A vision to preserve British Columbia's history and tell the story of its people. It's not well known, but there was an urgency behind their vision. They were trying to protect a civilization that had been here for tens of thousands of years. You see, prominent citizens of the newly formed colony were not happy with the many American and European treasure hunters who were buying and selling First Nations carvings, masks, and other precious cultural items. And so marked the beginning of the Royal British Columbia Museum in 1886, born out of an urgency to protect a rich and valuable culture. While the museum's humble first building on the legislative property is gone, that founding vision lives on. It's a vision that sees the museum as the preserver, educator and interpreter of history. A vision for sharing ideas, pioneering science and being at the forefront of new discoveries. And underpinning all of this is the principle that has endured for 130 years. It is a vision that allows British Columbians to become better citizens through their access to our shared history. Today, the museum holds some seven million artifacts, the single most important repository of British Columbia's history, and some half a kilometer of archives. And while our woolly mammoth sometimes steals the show for children, the importance of this collection simply can't be overstated. And yet the vast majority of it is locked away from public view. Everything from rare plants and marine specimens to prehistoric fossils and world-renowned cultural items from our founding peoples. We simply don't have the space to showcase our collection. In a province that has experienced rapid change and growth, the Royal British Columbia Museum simply hasn't kept pace. The museum's infrastructure is failing, galleries are somewhat dated, and our facilities don't meet modern seismic standards. But we have a bold plan to breathe new life into the museum and ensure it continues to fascinate and inspire many generations to come. It's about fulfilling our promise to the province. And that means enhancing our commitment to education. We see the museum as an educational hub, a place where learners of all ages can access our shared history. In an increasingly fast-paced world, we plan to do more to create more educational spaces within the museum and more digital platforms to allow others to access the collection. Learners shouldn't see geography as a barrier to access their history. And it means strengthening our relationship with First Nations and better understanding their stories. We've so much to learn. It's always shocking to me that we know more about other cultures than we know about our founding peoples. And we have long been a partner here in efforts to repatriate cultural artifacts to their rightful owners. But there's so much more to accomplish. And it also means celebrating our link to the Pacific Ocean. The fabric of British Columbia is linked to the sea. Our indigenous peoples know that, and so too do our migrants and fishers, businesses and coastal communities. We plan to bring the Pacific into the museum in a more substantive way. And all this can be done with new exhibit space, a special gallery to showcase British Columbia's treasures and vital upgrades to the facility. It's about creating a contemporary space that reflects British Columbia the way it is today, modern, dynamic, forward-looking. 
Our land and its people have given us limitless opportunities. Opportunities to do more. Opportunities to ensure British Columbia's museum, your museum, truly reflects you and this diverse province. Every day I'm inspired by what we can do and we can do so much more. And more to honor our First Nations heritage, more to share and educate learners of all ages in all regions and more to celebrate our place in the world on this rugged Pacific coast. From my office, my eye often travels out to sea and I think about the journey we're on. It's a journey to tell our story, the story as first peoples, indigenous knowledge and migrants, the story of adventurers, explorers and builders at its heart, though, this is the story of people, the story of families. The journey is long, and yes, at times there may be headwinds, but the journey is underway. And just like our founders so many years ago, working together with a shared vision, we can continue to build a modern, world-class museum that truly reflects our great and dynamic province.